On Monday, July 16th, Ashland Legion hosted Medford. It was a good pitching battle throughout. Bottom of the six. It was a 1-1 game, but post-77 got some offense going. And a bit of pitch, and this is up the third base side, and that is going to be a fair ball. And the lead runner going to be waved around. Here comes Kavanaugh. It's 2-1 post-77. An RBI single for Ronan Bates. The second pitch that Falkenberg threw. One out, one on. Falkenberg deals, and this is hit high in the air over to right field and caught by Andrew, and the runner's going to tag, head to third, and the throw is going to be launched over towards us, and now Bates is going to score on the overthrow, and it's a 3-1 game. That score would hold. Owen Ward goes the complete game as post-77 trots to a 3-1 victory and improved to 12-4 overall. On Thursday, July 19th, Ashland took on Sudbury post-191. It was a 5-5 game heading to the bottom of the sixth when the post-77 offense absolutely exploded. Gets a piece of this one, drives it over to center field, and that is going to take a hop over the wall, a ground rule double for Ben Thomas, and two runs will score. As this is driven into center field, past the reach of the shortstop. Ben Fink comes around to score. Behind him is Ben Thomas. Two more runs come around for post 77. A two RBI single for Drew Rancatori. Well, if they only win one game, post 77 could have first place. As this is driven into left field, that'll get down for a hit. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Rancatori. Another run's going to come in, and that is going to be an RBI double for Jackson Hornung. And he will advance the third on a misfire. Set to deliver. And that's going to get by. Horning's going to come around to score. Sixth run of the inning for post 77. Seven runs in the inning gave post 77 a 12 to 5 lead. In the top of the seventh, Lewis Rossi made his first pitching appearance. There is strike three, two away. Fans are imploring Lou to pour it down the plate. And there it is. Two strikeouts for Lewis Rossi. He can hit, he can play third base. Now we discover he can pitch, he can do it all. Despite the inexperience on the mound, Rossi recorded two strikeouts and got the job done. Post-77 wins their final regular season game over Sudbury by a final score of 12-5 and improved to 14-4 overall. Post-77 defeated Natick 6-3 in the first round of the playoffs, which led to a matchup on Tuesday, July 24th with Medford. It was 2-1 Medford heading into the bottom of the third. Post-77 was able to put together some runs. Lewis likes to go the other way, so there's a big gap between third and short. It's a piece of this one. Slow roller up the middle. That's going to get through to right field. Bates around to score, and Hornung's going to be held up. It's a 4-2 post-77 lead. An RBI single for Lewis Rossi. Dude, he's looking very good. Breaking pitch up the middle, past the reach of the first baseman. Hornung around to score, and no play will be made. Everybody's going to be safe. A 5-2 lead for post-77. Four runs score in the inning, and that led to a post-77 6-4 victory. Tom Nappy here with Ben Thomas and Jackson Hornung. Guys, another tremendous game, another tremendous playoff win. Uh, ben, you had a great day today, uh, going one for two with a couple of walks, scoring a couple of runs. Uh, could you just talk about your performance out there? Um, I was seeing the ball very well today, and I was just trying to see it deep, and... Uh, didn't give me many strikes at first. Got two walks on four, eight balls. So, but uh, I was able to like, get runners going and produce some runs for my team. It was a good day. And you guys seem to have a lot of fun out there as usual today. Uh, and it just seems to be such good chemistry. What's it like playing with this group? Uh, I mean, it's awesome. We all like know each other very well. Um, we're a really tight team. 
Um, we always going out after to eat dinner, after games, and stuff like that. Um, we know each other all well, and we've been I'm playing Jackson for a couple of years now, and uh, we just have a blast. We're just having fun, and uh, as long as we keep having fun, I hope we keep winning. So. Absolutely, and uh, Jackson, you had a pretty good performance out there as well. You got hit by a pitch, which drove in a run, and also made a couple of good defensive plays. Uh, and you've been uh, consistent all season long, and uh, so good at that shortstop position for post seventy seven. Uh, could you talk about your performance out there today, and uh, also the team as a whole? Oh uh, well, my first play of the game, I kind of botched, so you know I wanted to get it back for Gus. So I made a couple plays for him, but it, you know it's always for my team. I just want to go out there and win and uh, keep winning. So. And then just uh, the whole team played great today. We hit the ball uh, when we needed to. We got that pitcher out early, got uh, some runs with the bases loaded. So, you know, just doing the little things that help us win. And uh, can you talk about Luke Gossifson's performance out there today? He had a battle uh, through a couple of innings, but he got the job done out there today, and he pitched pretty well. Yeah, he did. He pitched well the first few innings, got into a little uh, pickle in one of the innings there, but he ended up only lining up one run, striking out. Most of them, I think, I don't know if it was two or three, but you know, he just gets the job done when he needs to, and he throws hard all the time, so he's great. What's it like to be a part of this group? Oh, it's great. You know, I came in last year, and everyone's just so tight. Everyone loves hanging out with each other, so I think that just helps the chemistry and helps us play better throughout the season. Well, guys, you put yourself in a very good position with uh, rain coming, so hopefully we'll see you in the state tournament. If not, we'll have some more uh, district playoff fun. Congratulations on a great victory out there tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Tom Nappy here with Lewis Rossi and Sean Jewett. Guys, a uh, tremendous game out there today. Uh, good victory over a good Medford team, and you put yourself in a good place uh, with the rain coming. This could be the last uh, district playoff game there is until the state tournament. Uh, could you just talk about your team's performance out there today? Well, you know, we all went out there with the mindset of winning. We knew we had to win. We know the circumstances for the rest of the week, and uh, we all went out together, and, you know, we all played for each other, and... Honestly, that prevailed. We went down a little in the first, but we got everyone's spirits back up for the end, and that really helped you know, push through. And, uh, Lewis, you had a great game out there. Uh, you went one for three at the plate. You drove in a run. Uh, could you talk about your performance out there today? Uh, well, did all right, I guess. Uh, I think, you know, the key for, like, the whole team was uh, just to, like, be patient. Their first pitcher was a little wild, so uh, we actually ended up getting him out of the game in, like, the third or fourth inning because uh, he ended up walking a lot of guys. So um, be patient. And then when I got up, they had just brought in a new pitcher. So I just timed him up. I got a, like an inside fastball. And I didn't hit it that great, but snuck through the hole and drove in a run. And that inning was like a four-run four inning, probably the reason why we won. So it felt great. And you guys seem to have kind of a loose feel out there, but really step it up when you need to. Uh, can you just talk about what it's like to play with this group? You know, it's awesome. Like. I've never been on a team as good and as together as everyone on this team. We all play together, and it's just incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We all just, you know, all of us here just want to show up, have fun in the summer. And for us, that means showing up to this park and playing baseball and beating teams. And that's pretty much it. And I have to ask, uh, how was it uh, to be able to pitch the other day? That was fun. I mean, I haven't pitched since uh, three or four years ago, but uh, got out there. I couldn't really throw strikes at first, so I had to throw sidearm, and somehow that worked. So that was that was fun. I'm glad. I got two strikeouts, a little surprised, but it's a lot of fun. I probably won't get to do it again, so I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you got through a solid inning, so yeah. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully many more playoff games to come. Uh, congratulations to you guys. You've been great all season long, and uh, we look forward to more playoff baseball. Yeah, thank you. On Wednesday, July 25th, Ashland took on Lowell in Lowell and fell 5-2. They have one more chance to beat Lowell, win, and advance to the state tournament, lose, and the season comes to an end. Post 77 currently stands at 16 wins and 5 losses overall.